be ballin' like swoosh Put the ice on my neck, 25th, I just spit the check Trash the rollie, I just wanna protect yeah. What is up, y'all? Welcome to day two of Vlogmas. Y'all can't tell, but it's actually pretty late right now. Your girl really ain't vlog earlier because I really ain't do much. Earlier, I went to Walmart, bought some food, about to share with y'all what I ate, what I made today to have for dinner, and where else did I go? We just went to the shoe store, and that was it. I've been chilling at the house. So for today's vlog, I thought it would be pretty fun to do a mukbang, mukbang, you know what I'm saying? Eat with me, you know, chat. Gotta get me a little blanket over here because my bedding is white. And yo, I've been trying so hard to not get nothing on it. Having white bedding is so hard and to keep it like crispy white. But I think it just looks so good. I always wanted to have that aesthetic type of room like everything white with like black and gold accessories so yeah that's what i've been working on for my room i can't wait to share my complete room tour with y'all i'm almost done with everything so i'm gonna do that soon but anyways i made chicken alvaredo and yeah i already ate some earlier and now i got some more for a late night meal because this ain't even a snack this is a, a whole nother meal late at night you know what i'm saying but yeah i know a lot of people try not to eat at night because it's like it'll make you gain weight or like something like that but that's the goal i want to gain weight mm. you know when i was in school me and my best friend oh I put a <coughs> I put a lot of cayenne pepper in it. The cayenne just I put that little extra little salt bay on it. It just tastes so good. But yeah, in college, me and my best friends, we used to make this like it was just like a friend thing to do. We would make chicken alfredo, like rotel dip and different stuff like that. But every time I make chicken alfredo, it just reminds me of hanging out with my best friends. <sighs> I always miss them so much. Be up. All we do, you know, get the fettuccine type of noodles, put some green and red peppers in it, get your chicken, season that up, and put pepper on the chicken, all that good stuff, season it how you want. And then we add cayenne pepper to it. That just like kicks it off. And this time I added onions just to like switch it up, but I don't even really taste it in here. But they in here. I need to stir it up because this cayenne. Is on another level. One thing I kind of hate eating is pasta. It gets so messy. Like you could be eating pasta, get sauce on your chin, sauce here, get sauce in your hand. You like how did sauce get in my hair? I don't know. I was grubby, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. <laughs> I haven't yet. I haven't been getting no paper towel, but y'all know how like on um Twitter, Instagram, it be like a meme, and dudes always be like, "All oh, girls know how to make is chicken alfredo," and I be sitting there thinking like, "But you ate it though, didn't you?" That's what I thought. <laughs> like, it's literally one of the easiest things to whip up. I don't make this a lot, but I was just craving it today. I was like, I want some chicken out right now. But yeah, you can't be picky and you ain't cooking. If you don't want it, go make yourself your own food or, you know, go buy your own food. I really need a napkin. I'll be right back. <sighs> Got it. 
Oh yeah, I got me some tea on the side. Mm. Think about tea. How do people up north drink unsweetened tea? Like tea not sweetened just tastes like tap water. Tastes like if I wanted water, I would have ordered water. So you need to put some sugar in that thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, not trying to attack anybody if y'all from up north. But like, do you put? If you live up north, let me know. Do y'all add sugar to y'all sweet tea? Because apparently up north people don't add sugar in their sweet tea. And I'm just like, how? How do you not? The process of cooking meat is so nasty. Like, when I was cooking this chicken, I was like, this looks so nasty. And then it's like, I don't wanna gross people out. And I'm eating right now, but anyways. You be like fat and chicken, that little white, you know? And it just looks so nasty. And I'm like, I'm really about to eat this. <laughs> and I eat it. But no, seriously, like the main thing I only eat for me is chicken i gave up pork a long time ago i still do eating beef but i want to slowly get that up too because red meat and all that it's not good for you mm. you know when you eat after going out to the club and being like real drunk food be tasting so good you can taste every ingredient, every just is sensational as Future was saying. <laughs> um, food be so good. I need to eat all this type of stuff anyway. I've been trying to gain weight for the longest. I don't I don't eat enough calories is what it is. People always think until I started counting my calories, not just saying people, but until I started counting my calories and like looking into stuff like that, you don't realize it's not like the amount you eat, it's the calories. Some certain stuff could be like a small amount, but it has a lot of calories. So, and I need to eat more than the recommended amount to gain weight. I don't know if I ever shared it on my channel, but I've used a peanut milk before. I've actually used it like three different times, I think. I've tried both the pills and the syrup. I've had the pills like two times. And I've had the syrup, what? I think they both, I feel like do give a different response. I feel like it worked better for me when I took the pills. I was just looking at some pictures earlier when I had took it, it was like last year, last year kind of around this time around October, for homecoming, I was looking a little bit thick in my homecoming dresses. It was like a little bit of extra meat up there. And I'm like, dang, I need to start doing that again. And it seemed like it was just December 2017. And it's December again. But I be thinking like at the same time, it seemed like this year was long as hell. But then it also seemed like it was short. Like I seen this post, it was like, um, this year been so long that, this year has been so long I forgot Black Panther came out this year. Something like that it said. And I got to thinking like, yo, I really thought that movie came out last year. <laughs> but it really came out this year in February, I remember. Cause I was like, no, I wanna go see it. Everybody was saying they was gonna go see it. I wanna go see it too. And it came out, this year, but it feel like it came out last year. Like, that's crazy. I don't eat pasta much, but one thing I do like is rice. I would eat rice every day. I would, like, I would say my favorite is white rice, but I love all 
I love all kind of rice. It's just, I don't know. It's just so good. <laughs> I really couldn't even see my plate good, but I'm almost done. That's how I feel. I was like, you can do it, bros. Yeah, you can do <laughs> Bros, bros, bros. <laughs> Yo, Matilda. It was such a good movie. I feel like watching that show now. That was such a good movie. Whoa. That was so good, y'all. Like, gonna be tainted. <laughs> stomach on flat fat. Did I say stomach on flat fat? Stomach on flat flat. Ass on Buster. <laughs> now wash it all down. But y'all, I'm done with my food, so that pretty much wraps up this mukbang. I think it would be fun to incorporate some like mukbang type of videos within Vlogmas. So I think I'm gonna do some more of those. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning into this video. pick up the camera and i almost fell out of bed i see you guys in tomorrow's vlog which will be vlogmas day three